I have been very encouraged during the coronavirus pandemic. My husband and I run an English language school in Osaka, a city of about 2.7 million people in Japan. The school was closed because of the pandemic. But before the Japanese government declared a state of emergency, we finished setting up online lessons and, amazingly, have managed to retain 90% of our students. But I have been even more astonished by a former student, a 60-year-old woman named Shikako, who contacted me at the height of the pandemic in Japan. We have known each other for 13 years but lost touch about two years ago. Then one day as I was heading home from my office, I received a note from her on Facebook Messenger. I want to attend your church even though the pandemic is spreading, she wrote. Chikako was not a Christian. I was surprised that she wanted to know more about Jesus, and we briefly texted each other about Christianity and how I became a Christian. We agreed to meet on Saturday after Sabbath worship services. At our meeting, I told her the parable of the lost sheep. She listened carefully to Jesus' words. She was amazed to learn how there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 just persons who need no repentance. Chikako immediately identified with the missing sheep. She said Jesus had been calling her to follow him for many years, but she had wanted to make the decision in her own time. Her next words stunned me. Then she decided stopping ignoring Jesus and wanted to be baptized. It seemed clear to me that the Holy Spirit had been working on her heart, especially during the pandemic, and I was happy to share the teachings and love of Jesus. We met several more times after that. One Sabbath, as we talked about why Jesus died on the cross, she was moved by the story of the thief on the cross who, at the very last minute, chose to die as a true believer of Jesus. Chikako was very touched by the fact that Jesus always loves and is ready to forgive. She realized that even though she had tried hard to find joy and peace on her own, she was unsatisfied. The coronavirus pandemic might disrupt our lives, but it cannot stop Jesus from drawing people to him.